Hoyer is how you going? So Capcom released yet another update for Dragon's Dogma 2, patch number 12. This one introduces bug fixes and modifications, some of them are exclusive to consoles, some of them are for all platforms, there are a few exclusive to PlayStation 5 Pro. And in this quick overview video we'll have a look at them. My apologies for releasing this video late, work got in the way, but for those who don't know me, I'm Melvo and I try my best to bring everyone up to speed when it comes to Dragon's Dogma 2 updates and news, no matter how small or in significant they are. So if you are interested in Dragon's Dogma 2 or just want to help me reach my goal of 5000 subscribers before the end of the year, give me a sub. Cheers. Also we have a Discord server full of Dragon's Dogma enthusiasts you can join. It's pretty active, the link is in the description and the pinned comment. Now let's go have a look at the patch. Here it is, patch 12 from the 31st of October, again sorry for being this late. As you can see it's split into three sections, one for all platforms, one for PlayStation 5 Pro and one for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. Let's start with the bigger one. The first change is an issue with the quest nesting troubles. It's an early quest you get from Lennart in Melv and apparently sometimes when throwing the jar of poison into the Saurian's nest it doesn't progress the quest. I had a similar issue once but in my case throwing the jar into the nest was failing the quest no matter how accurate I was so according to the patch notes it's no longer an issue. Next up it's the issue where your pawns of the calm and straightforward inclination would seize all activity after failing to use levitate. I've never seen this personally despite having a mage in my party pretty much at all times when I play with pawns. It's a small fix and if somebody was experiencing it, here you go, the issue is now fixed. Next, the issue where the minimap would repeatedly zoom in and out while passing through the Hermit's Retreat. Hermit's Retreat is an area in the Ancestral Chamber that has quite an important shortcut to unlock that connects the Elven Village with Melv. So with this one, I just I don't use the minimap anymore I turned it off after my like second playthrough or something because I know the area pretty well but I went back there turned the minimap on to see if it's working properly and yeah it's looks like it's all good. By the way, I strongly recommend turning it off at some point to make exploration more fun. And the last one here is the issue where the power of the spell Maelstrom is drastically increased when Murden is fighting with the player's party. Murden is this snobby mage you find in the checkpoint rest town and sometimes when doing a certain quest that involves morally flexible behavior, Murden becomes aggressive and wipes your party with the Maelstrom. It's not an issue anymore. Go get him Arisen. When it comes to changes exclusive to consoles, we've got just one issue fixed and it's when there's no sound effect playing when switching categories in the character creator and there are also a few changes exclusive to PlayStation 5 Pro users and if you're one of them, you let us know in the comments how it is going for you, rich people. Adding PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution to the graphics section of the options menu. <laughs> Sounds like a, a name for a Diablo 2, you know, unique mob. Yeah, I can't really comment on that, I'm a PlayStation 4 user. This is a picture of me and my Bloodborne machine. There's also this addition of balanced as a, a section under graphics quality in the graphics section of the options menu. Again, and if you own Dragon's Dogma 2 and a PlayStation 5 Pro, let us know in the comments how this witchcraft works out for you. Also, there's a video by Digital Foundry where they play Dragon's Dogma 2 on PlayStation 5 Pro. It's like a hands-on, it's four minutes long or something. I'll leave a link to the clip in the description for you to check out if you're interested. So, Dragon's Dogma 2 is being fixed slowly but surely. A lot of bugs are being squashed, but I'd like to give you my little report on the issues that are still in the game. Most importantly, despite the performance being like this close to perfect, the pop-in issue is still in the game. It feels like nothing's been done to fix it. It's pretty much the way it was on launch. I'm not a tech guy and I'm not saying that I know how to fix it, but it feels like maybe a slider for the amount of NPC characters you can have on your screen at the same time could potentially make it look better. Like make the ones that are about to pop in completely invisible for them to not appear at all. Yeah, less NPCs on the screen, but it's also less immersion breaking. Seriously, the pop-in is still there and it's a big deal. When it comes to quest blockers, first of all, the Phantom Ox Cart quest is still buggy for a lot of people. I still see reports here and there talking about the Ox Cart not moving when you come up to it. Hopefully they will fix it at some point for everyone to enjoy the quests because it's a pretty cool one. 
one of the more unique Dragon's Dogma 2 quests and I wish people who still experience issues with it could finally finish it. Also this quest has to be finished if you want to platinum the game because it's tied to an achievement. And the second quest that is still buggy is Baron's quest. I did a fresh playthrough and it got bugged for me. Baron doesn't move to his childhood home for some reason and Baron's quest also has to be finished if you want to platinum the game because you get the maester skill from him. And if you know any other bugs, quest blockers, etc, let us know in the comments and Capcom, if you're watching, please fix these. And also, can you please let me have my unique pawn already? People need Nasty Ethan in their party, trust me. As always, I'll be keeping my ear to the ground to update you as soon as something new comes up. Subscribe to the channel, join our Discord Bush Dimension, and thank you for watching. See ya.